Hey YouTubers, gonna uh, push my uh, ZVS powered Tesla coil tonight pretty hard. Played with it last night and uh, decided to try out a couple more Leyden jar bottles. And uh, I was amazed with the results and I think it's my best work yet for this coil. For, you know, this size coil. Um, I'm easily getting about eight, nine inch arcs off of it. This is just right here to, uh, it's a ground rod, chicken stick to protect the, uh, power supply just in case it arcs over that far because it easily jumps that distance when I really crank it up. And I tell you what, guys, these ZVS drivers are hungry bastards for energy. My, uh, what I thought was to be badass power supply with, uh, 30 volt center tap and 60 foot or 60 volt on the other tap point, which I have hooked up now. Um, it's basically maxing out my, uh, Variac at like five, six amps. And I can pull about eight from this for short periods of time. And, uh. I'm pushing this thing hard. Uh, I've already thrown 60 volts at these, and they don't whimper whatsoever. They just barely get warm. Uh, cap bank, it gets a little warm, and the uh, inductor gets a little warm. Inside there, it's pretty much stays cold because of all the oil and the uh, temperature around me. It's about 60 degrees right now at night. Come on, damn thing, focus. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. It's a piece of shit metro phone. So, without further ado, let me uh, set the phone up here. So I can uh, get some video going. Oh, shit, you guys fell down. Sorry about that. And there we go. There we go. Noise warning, guys. Sorry I was late on that. Yeah, pick the guys back up. Let me see if I can get another angle about this. Yeah, those arcs are easily jumping that gap to that chicken stick ball. Let's go again. Sorry for the short runs, guys. The uh, the noise is pretty damn loud, and uh, Corona in here, the ozone is uh, pretty strong. And as you can see, those darks were jumped an easy eight inches or so. Not bad for a ZVS Tesla coil. And uh, Anthony, high one voltage one rules. If you're watching. Neener, 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 I beat you. You got to get on a plane over here now and shake my hand. You said you would. I might just hold you to it.
been a long time since we got a chat going on Google Plus. And uh here's what you do. Two nano fared, four wine bottles, RQ spark gap, so it jumps across two points or three or four into a uh, pretty tightly coupled primary. And the beats per second is uh, really high. So here we go again with the lights on this time. Let's see what happens. Turn this voltage back down. I want to turn it on all crazy. Just so you guys can see what voltage and current I'm pulling. It's easily pulling 5 amps when I uh, get it going pretty good. So, uh, just barely off, you know, cold temperature. But the same temperature as my fingers, about 98 degrees. Cap bank, nice cold. Inductor, about 110. If that, be careful touching this capacitor bank. And those are still cold too. And I ain't worried about those. I haven't even killed those with an NST, which uh, Dirk82, you'll like this saying. They're weak sauce. NSTs are weak sauce. Probably can't see them down there, but I got four of them put away. I'll be building these from now on, I think. ZVS Tesla Claw. Let's get that art going a little closer. Get a little uh, breakout ball Jacob's Ladder going. Noise warning, guys. That's low power, about 3 amps. Um about 25 volts my power supply does drop down you guys can see the needle now let's go for some more That's about 12 volts pulling one amp uh, just before the ZVS will turn itself off. It kind of becomes a little kicking coil.
That was pushing about six amps right there. Let's see how long of a spark I can get. Just for the last few minutes of the video. Here we go. Noise warning. Okay, that's enough for a few minutes. I'm gonna let everything cool down. Power supply ain't lacking it. It's about 130 degrees. So, let me know what you think, guys. ZVS Tesla coil. About six amps, maybe seven. Have a good one, guys.